That'll be a lot of fun. Hopefully, Justin, the temps will come down just a little bit. Yeah, it does look like maybe next weekend we will have to deal with maybe some Mother Nature fireworks in the form of mm -hmm. some showers and thunderstorms. Okay. But hey, no, a washout, but those clouds and the rain chances will hold our temperatures back just a little bit. It was hot. It was steamy oh, here yes, this, it this was. weekend. Uh, heat index was as high as 115 in some parts of the state as a front has gone through. And this front uh, affected my family and uh, my, a lot of my friends up in Indiana. As we can show that video. There we go. This you can video see uh, is... this tornado that mm. is right down the street from my sister's house. If you go to the left there, just go down the road here about less than a quarter mile. That's where I always stay when I go and visit family. Back in Indiana, this is on the south side of Indianapolis, and you can see, look all the debris that has flown in the air. This was a apartment complex that is being built. Only one, this one right here, that actually has tenants in it. Okay, so some great news there. Uh, this was uh, a half dozen tornadoes that were spawned by big supercells here across the state of Indiana, and this reached all across, and there's that one thunderstorm that did produce that damaging tornado uh, there in Greenwood, on the south side of Indianapolis, but you can see numerous supercells, and this was just a, a, a small part of it, as you can see, all the way from Min uh, Michigan, Ohio, Kentucky, down in th across the Louisville area, Cassie Hyder, meteorologist Cassie Hyder, her uh, uh, home, or her mom's home, was damaged as well with a couple of the trees uh, nearby that had fallen. And these showers and thunderstorms continued all across clusters of Arkansas, Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia. So this was a very large area of severe weather here today. Nearly 500 reports of severe weather. And like I mentioned, a half a dozen reported tornadoes. We were waiting to see if that snaking cold front would make a little bit of action here across the state, but we did have a severe thunderstorm watch, but that has been allowed to expire. That lid in the atmosphere is too strong. So some great news, maybe an isolated shower or two later on tonight, but other than that, pretty quiet. 83 degrees, a northeast wind at around 10. Look at the dew point down from the upper 70s now into the upper 60s. That does make a difference, okay? It's still not dry air, but at least tolerable air from Oklahoma City points to the north, low to mid 70s, still compared to the middle to upper 80s down to the south because look at the tropical moisture. Folks, you will not like see that many days this year to see a 80 or above dew point. That is absolutely ridiculous out there. Is uh, This is about as high as they'll ever be. As you can see, 50s and 60s. There's that drier air that'll try to make its way in as the heat index still down towards the border still feels like near 100. Big powerhouse jet stream with all that severe weather off towards the north in the Great Lakes. Heat dome is being smashed just a little bit off to the south, but that heat dome might make a will make a return. Rainfall over the last 10 days, this might be a saving grace. Why I show you that because the moisture in the ground and green grass. We've been 93. That is our hottest temperature so far. Our last 100 degree day was August 16th last year. So 313 days ago, but we're going to make a run towards the century mark. Not tomorrow with less humidity, probably not Tuesday, but then as we head towards Wednesday, Thursday and a Friday, that heat dome is firmly in place. Dry air, or I should say plenty of sunshine, a little bit of humidity, but then over the weekend, that's why we might see some showers and thunderstorms. The heat dome gets smashed once again back to the uh, west, and we might see some spotty rain chances all the way through into the 4th of July holiday. Temperatures here tonight, middle 60s to near 70 to the upper 70s, so that humidity still in place with a couple isolated showers and thunderstorms does not look like a big deal. Otherwise, plenty of sunshine tomorrow, upper 80s to low 90s to near 100, less humidity, a little bit of an east breeze, lots of sunshine out there tomorrow with low 90s. Look at your night day forecast. We crank up the heat. Century mark around right 99 to 102 here across many locations, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Then maybe some spotty showers and thunderstorms as we head towards next weekend and the 4th of July with highs near 90.